Hi and welcome to SQ's World. Oh, don't my skin look cold? It's heat. Does me no good and my hair's a state. But anyway, enough about me. Um, I got in the post Tuesday, which was four days ago. These awesome lipsticks. Ah, uh, go. Can you see that? Anyway, I'll just hold one up to you. There we go. It says black chrysanthemum and then the rest is Chinese writing and heng fang because I did get it from China. I had to wait a while to get it because I got it on eBay. These were under £2 each and they haven't really got colours. They've just got one, two... Two and three on the bottom and they are the awesome lipsticks that I keep seeing on Facebook with the flowering and the box they come in not really any information because it's all in sort of Chinese writing or Japanese I don't know anyway Sorry, I've just got to do something. There, yeah, that'll do. Right, anyway, it says on the thing, um, black chrysanthemum. Um, and I know that you ch um, consent, ah, chrysanthemums or however you pronounce it, is an edible flower. So I am I am thinking um, that this is a, a real flower inside. Um, so oh. that's one. And <laughs> this is two. You can hear Jensen moaning under the table, and this is three. Um, it says that they are colour changing um, with your mood, but basically it's just the heat of your lips or your body to basically how vibrant they are. Um, I have worn this one once already and I did notice the colour got brighter the longer I wore it. Anyway, I'm going to... What do you want? What do you want? Do you want this? But this is not yours. Hold on, you can have to pack it. Ow! Ah! No, no, that's not yours. You can have this. You can have this. You can have this. There you go. Do you want this packet? Sorry, I'll get back to you in just a sec. See, it's just a cutter that is meant to be... I think it's meant to be a dog, but I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, and... This is meant to be a cat. This is meant to be a cat. This one as well. Oh, yes, it is a dog. I can see it now. I was holding it the wrong way. I'm so stupid. And this one is a bone. And this is a bone. Right, but they're not yours. But you can have the packaging. Okay, right, so now that's got his majesty happy. He's never happy though, he always wants more to be honest. Let's get back to these awesome lipsticks. Right, I'm going to do swatches on my hand. So this is one, 
Uh, will you stop climbing over me? I don't want a pink dog. Well, I do want a pink dog, but I would never ever dye him, paint him, or colour him in any way. Well, it doesn't look like I can do swatches on my hand just yet. Because of my little fella. No, no, lipsticks aren't for Jensen. No. No, no, they're not for you. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never work with children or animals. Ah, oh, bless you. You're going to ring your bell. You're going to ring your bell. You're going to ring your bell. No. Right. Are you done? No, this is not yours. No. No. Oh, goodness sake, Jensen. I can't have anything, can I? No. Let it go. Go and get it. Where's your ball? No. Where's your ball? Look, your ball. Your ball. Go and get your ball. Oh, anyway, so this is number one, which is sort of a orangey, yellowy colour, if you can see. And it seems to have sort of a dark pink red flower inside um so my hands are quite turned at the moment so i don't know if the color will come up quite so well so i'm just watching that uh, can you see there just about anyway so that's one and it doesn't feel greasy at all it just feels really nice and um, moisturizing um, this is two this darker pink one and again it seems to have sort of a dark um, pink flower inside there you go see that they all seem about the same color maybe a little bit darker pink and a little bit lighter pink but the same sort of shade and here's number three or whichever way round anyway so here's number three and I'm just putting it on there and that and this one's sort of the clearest of the most with a little tinge in it and as you can see there is virtually no colour to that one whatsoever um, so I'm going to leave them on my hands for a minute to see if they develop the heat on my hand to see if the colour intensifies, which I think it is starting to do a little bit. I'm going to put this one on because it's my favourite because it's pink, the one that's the most pink and pink's my favourite colour. So... And it goes on really nice it feels really soft it doesn't feel greasy there's no stickiness which if you remember when I tried that silver lip gloss um, stuff my mouth literally stuck together which was awful but this is just soft there's no real greasiness to it um, you can feel the moisture which is nice especially this time of year or even in the winter because you know the elements and all that your lips dry out and it's always nice to have something um, that feels as if it's got moisture and is hydrating your lips on your lips so yes I do like these and I know you can get more expensive versions of these which are like you know 20 30 pound plus each but you know I have no money all my videos and stuff for my videos I pay for myself no one buys for me unless it's like birthday presents or stuff like that um, no one 
buys anything for me I buy everything myself nothing is donated um, it all comes out of my own pocket so you know I can't afford to go spending um, 20 30 60 pound on one of these when I can get one which is you know almost exactly the same for under two pound including postage and and all the and the more expensive ones were coming from the same place as well so I would have had to wait the same amount of time for the same thing but it, you know like pff, 10 30 times more money which you know is ridiculous so anyway these have been on my hand for quite a bit now and you can see that they have got slightly darker where my hands are quite warm and the colour has got um what's the word I'm more vibrant is the word I'm looking for. Um but yes, definitely I would recommend these to anyone and everyone to buy and I will be using number two the most and when I get down to the flower I will do another video um, to show the flower also I did a little reading on chrysanthemums no chrysanthemums I can't say it chrysanthemums oh no oh, well you know what I mean them flowers um before making this video and apparently they have sort of a sweet tangy bitter taste so you know that's sort of all round flavors but uh we'll, we'll see um i've got no no jensen it's not food i've got no real taste there's a little bit of a sort of you know well cosmetic -y, lipstick -y sort of smell oh that one smells more floral the darker pink one which is number two that was number one didn't really have a smell I'll try again no not really um, I suppose that one has a bit more so number one is the weakest metalline one um number two is the strongest smelling one it's a nice sort of a florally fruity smell um but still it's not an overpowering strong smell and number three has a slight barely noticeable smell um yeah but I can't smell it whilst it's on my lips and there's no taste to it, you know, other than that, you know, sort of lip balmy taste that you, you know, you get whether you use a plain one or not a plain one. So yes, good all round lipstick lip balm whatever you want to call it um i'm loving it it's my new favorite lipstick um and i can't wait to get down to the flower and i'm i would almost definitely say it is a real flower inside um especially as concerns now are uh, an edible flower so they're not going to be doing you any harm um so yes anyway i think that's almost the end of this video to let you know i have got this coming up i got this in the post today which is my char tea tea tasting box um which i'm looking forward to i've already had a sneak peek and the, both the teas sound very interesting <clears throat> And I'm looking forward to trying. Just in case you're wondering what the cookie cutters um, were for, or biscuit cutters, whatever you want to call them, were are for, is someone donated, well, someone gave me a um, cookbook for 
dogs so I'm going to be making Jensen some biscuits and muffins and cakes and all sorts but not just yet because I've got to save to buy the ingredients but hey ho I will get there eventually I've now almost got all my cooking stuff I need I just need stuff to cook with <laughs> um so yes anyway that's all for now there will be a video very shortly with the tea i'm not sure whether it'll be later today or tomorrow um or maybe both um gonna watch ghostbusters today um quite looking forward to that i saw pets um the secret life of pets the other day that was quite a good film definitely one to take your children to or go and see yourself if you like animals, if you like animation, if you like <clears throat> if you like a bit of comedy, then you know it sort of covers it all. Um, wasn't as good as I thought it would be, um, but it was still a, a very enjoyable movie and very cute and cuddly as well. Um, I will let you know my views on Ghostbusters. To be honest, I'm not looking forward to Ghostbusters because. I'm a little bit peeved at all the remakes that they're doing. Because, you know, if it ain't broken, it don't need fixing. Like the BFG. I'm sorry, but that was crap. I know it's a kid's film and I'm an adult, but still, the original cartoon BFG was awesome. That was like... One of my childhood favourite films, and it was great, and just this new <sighs> BFG with all the effects is rubbish. Just because you can do all these new fancy dancy things does not mean they need to be done. Oh my god, no. Some things are best left alone. Don't even get me started on Annie. No, I refuse to watch that film. Anyway, because Annie is my favourite film and it did not really need remaking and that is all I'm going to say. Um, yeah, so watching Ghostbusters today, I'm trying to think, is there any other movies I've seen that have... Oh, I've seen the um, new The Alice one with Johnny Depp through the looking glass. Eh, okay, again, not Johnny Depp's best work, but you know, it's still an enjoyable movie and I would probably watch it again. Um, watch the turtle, yeah, that was pretty good. Um, considering I'm not really a turtle fan, I only watched it because Stephen Amell was in it, and yeah, it was a good movie, it was enjoyable. I managed to concentrate on the whole movie and watch it all because um, that's a problem I have a lot of the time with movies. I'll either fall asleep or I'll just lose concentration and just do something else and then not take the movie in at all. Um, but anyway, yes, I think I've rambled on enough now. So these are the names of the lipsticks again and I got them on eBay for under two pound there are many different suppliers so you'll be able to find it easy enough and you can you might have a preferred buyer that um is doing them or they might even have a seller that's doing them cheaper now so you know shop around is the best bet um yes so that is all if you've enjoyed watching this video then please do give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already then hit the button down below and subscribe and i will see you all very soon in my next video you know stay awesome um have an awesome day i love you all so so much and until next time